I've got this, which I'm quickly going to feature towards the end here. This is courtesy of Hype Beast regarding the Brain Dead and Asics Jail Nimbus 9. And again, you have to give props to Brain Dead for always doing very interesting collaborations, always approaching things in a very unique and interesting and creative way, always going for brand partners and footwear that aren't maybe the most, you know, front there, out there, coolest things, but also trying to get their ideas out there regardless. And I feel like this is a good example of it. This gel like Nimbus reminds me, I think Nimbus is the site, is the name they have on Dragon Ball Z for the cloud, isn't it, right? Is it Nimbus? Uh, Goku jumps on and rides and stuff. I think that's it, right? Nimbus, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but these look pretty nice. Gel Nimbuses, they'll tell me in two colorways. Ooh. So they've got the first colorway that's maybe more of my vibe. It was a combination of like, it looks like oranges, reds, Tiffany, like light blues, purples, greens right a very kind of saf hot safari type colorway and then you've got another colorway that's maybe a bit more traditionally sneakerish you've got a lot of purples a lot of dark greens a lot of neon greens you've got this nice pink hit on the bottom of the sole that kind of looks a bit like gum that's really interesting little ad ad um, addition here at the bottom of the sole so where you'd see maybe gum or something maybe translucent or maybe a clear sole to kind of give it some pop they added this kind of off-white, this kind of washed out pink type vibe to the bottom of them. And they looked really, really nice. I like these. I'm not going to lie. Um, it continues. It says, following an early preview of the green, yellow, red pair, Brendan has officially announced the launch of his Asics Nimbus collaboration, starring an unseen purple and green colorway. The two also launched in Paris Fashion Week on January 21st, with wider release coming in January 24th. So they're already out now already. So I'm pretty sure they're probably sold out. But I do like both colorways. I think they look absolutely incredible. Let's see if they're actually available to actually purchase to see how much price they are because I think these are really nice. But again, because they're not flipping Jordan 1s or they're not Salomons and stuff, people aren't going to care. But I feel like these aspects are really, really well done personally for me. Um, I like them. I really, really do. Let's click shop here. Asics Brain Dead. Let's see what they say about these assets and see if they're available to actually purchase via the Brain With Dead site, which I really like to navigate and browse on. I think it's very well put together. We've got the two colors. Let's go for the purple and green and see what sizes are available. And I'm pretty sure what you'll see here is that most sizes are available because most kids are sheep and they just buy the cool shoe that's available. As you can see there, most sizes from 6 to 11 are available. The only ones sold out are size, what, 6, regular, 7, 8, nine and eleven everything else is available so you can get most sizes of size up or down and you're pretty much set but they do look absolutely fantastic price wise only 140 dollars i think pretty oh, sorry 140 pounds i think it's a pretty good deal for a limited edition shoe that you're not going to see many people out there wearing i'm pretty much a big fan of it i love the purple and green colorway because i like that hit of that neon green on the front of the laces i'm a sucker for a bit of neon green and again i think that pink edition on the outsole is very clever because it kind of is another cool, interesting way of doing the gum without having gum. I really like that idea. Um, yeah, I like the purple and green. I think it reminds me a little bit of a Foot Patrol stab from back in the day. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Um, it looks like a rope lace. So from the top here, the colors are a bit washed out. I love the difference in terms of the materials. You've got some mesh, you've got some suede, you've got some leather. That's always beautiful. Again, nice addition focus there on the outsole with a little pink or purple hit there very 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 well done for me personally and of course the other colorway which everybody's probably hyped on which is the one that is what they say they said it's a rio rust and almost apricot okay i like that color always apricot so both colors are pretty decent i obviously love both and it looks like from the sizing available it looks like the purple and green ones are way more popular because they've got way more of a full size run in the apricot colorway but I do like both colors regardless. But again, these aren't sold out. They're not reselling for any big amounts of money. So they're not going to be ones you'll buy for a check or anything. Oh, I love the idea. Oh, they've got a little integration of the Brain Dead logo here on the, on the tongue. I love that. I'm a big sucker for that now. Because I feel like because collaborations are so plentiful and because brands know how much value they can add to, you know, because they know how, you know, valuable the collaboration could be for either party. I feel like they're more willing to give people more things like, you know, let people design a, a collaboration from the ground up, letting them change certain things that you probably wouldn't change if it was back in the day. And the one of the additions that I've always loved about it is giving brands the ability to add their names onto the tongue, onto the insole or, you know, embroidered screens, print, whatever. It kind of just helps to give it a little bit of a more of a limited edition feel. 
like it's a limited edition colorway because you're not going to see that model in this colorway ever again but you've also got the hit of the branded on the insole logo the branded on the logo on the tongue it just makes it look a bit more special in my opinion i do like that i really do but it's a shame these aren't sold out because again you know all it takes again in this situation is for an asap nas a lucas about a rocky to wear them and suddenly they'll sell out in a heartbeat but because no one's seen them in a good outfit because they're not worn by somebody trendy and because they're not panda dunks or jordan ones they just sit there and it's a shame because i feel like sneaker culture this is what i feel like sneakerhead culture was all about back in the day if everyone was wearing air max 90s or air max ones you try and find another air max like a 95 a 98 a tn um uh, you know a 90 whatever 96 even you go and dig into your flipping archive dig through the flipping you know look books go vintage shopping dig 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 until you found an air max that no one actually had or even it's a colorway no one had and you pop those out and that will be your thing that you'd be wearing you wouldn't be going out wearing the same old flipping sport red to flipping colorway or blue one because everyone has it but now there's a feel like there's more sheep ever than before how many people down the street do you see now wearing Solomons and stuff they become they basically turned into a pair of vans chuckers overnight you know even the vans people wear the same old ones all the time when it comes to every other sneaker brand so it's a shame that there isn't that kind of first and desire to be different and just because someone's wearing the other thing you try and wear the opposite or try and push yourself to have a more varied collection because that's what i remember loving when i used to have boxes stacked up in my room of shoes i used to love that i had all these different colors i didn't like because back in the day the boxes of nike were orange and that kind of like brown colorway and that orange colorway so i hate having all those colors and also i liked it when back in there with the sbs i think every few years they changed their color of the boxes so what would be like pink blue silver those old red ones like normal nike ones and it was nice to have all these different color boxes because it meant you were going and buying different sbs from different years and you didn't have this kind of like you know standard you know drop release calendar collections what people have like a dj calendar collection where he just buys whatever's available has no real discernible taste and whatever's limited it kind of rocks and that's special to him i feel like now these people are a little bit boring so who knows maybe me talking about them maybe we'll buy them but if you don't i'll cop them myself i like them brendan and asics did a really good job big up everybody over there big up carl eng and i forgot the other guy's name that does it too um, he used to have a really is it heavy mentor or something i forgot his name but yeah big up them over there brain there for doing the good things and keeping it going and keeping the streets fed with cool and interesting 